Right, well this is a bit embarrassing because I've forgotten to check some crucial components when I opened this up. Hello, it's me, Philip. I've been away for a while. I haven't been to prison. I've just lost the will to fix. So I'm hoping this one is going to be a little bit straightforward as my return to fixing things. It's a 12 volt power supply and it's obviously not working. So I'm hoping to get it opened up, see if we can diagnose what's wrong with it and see if we can fix it. Now, like all power supplies, it's not a good idea to work on them unless you know what you're doing. So this is not an instructional video in the least for entertainment purposes only. Now I've already tested this, but I'll put it in my load lamp and I'll switch on and there's no light. There's no light which suggests that it might be actually good. So we'll test it on the multimeter and we've got no voltage, zero volts. So it's not shorted because the light would be on if it was shorted and we've got no volts coming out. So it's a bit of an awkward one to open up and test because the join goes right down the middle. So we'll get this open and see if we can see a fault. Now it's not something I want to fix and use. It was just looking at it for curiosity purposes. I might have to warm this up and see if it's glued. Try that first, we'll do that. We're going to heat this up with a hot air gun. Oh, I've, uh, I've heated that up a bit too much and it's melted the plastic. It looks like it goes that way. There's no screw underneath there. It looks like it's crammed full of components. Right, we're getting there. Oh. There you go. It does look like a good power supply. There's a capacitor there which looks very I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use a plastic one. Use a plastic one. That capacitor looks bulging. That's interesting, look. Yeah, it does look like a good power supply. Or it was, while it was working. I wonder why it's got two. Normally you just get one. Let's check the voltages on these capacitors. And we'll have a bit of a tidy up. Let's go underneath the microscope. So there's that bulging capacitor. These look okay. Nothing seems to be burnt. So C5 is it's that it's that crammed. I can't. I try to work out where C5 is. This one, right? So that's C1, which looks like that one. 
no voltage and C5 I think is that one and that one C5 I think is these two and they've got no voltage so I think the first thing I'll do is to take off C5 this one and put a new cap on 10 microfarads 400 volts we'll replace this where's the fuse diode If this is one leg of C5, I should be able to test the diodes by going into diode mode. And putting one leg of the multimeter on one leg of the capacitor and one on live or neutral, open. And I got a diode on the other side. So one side's open. One side's got a diode, and if I go to the other side of the capacitor, which I think is this one, that should be reversed, which is the other side of that capacitor. That one, and I think it's that one. No. So I might have a diode blown. So I've got a diode there. If I put positive on the capacitor and negative on one of the inputs, I don't know if it's live or neutral, I get open. And if I go to the other input, I get a diode. So that's correct. If I swap them round, I get open on that side and I get a diode on that side. But I'm not getting. There we are, I am getting a diode on the other side of the capacitor. Yeah, so I think all those diodes are, are working. So it might just be this capacitor. So we'll see if we can take it off with a soldering iron and find a replacement. Can I get my fingers in to pull the thing out? Yeah, so the negative faces the the output. Right now, I can't see that solder, so I'm going to have to go underneath the microscope. Now I don't know why I've got two holes there; they both seem to be joined together. Yeah. Right, so I have ten microfarads, four hundred volts. Let's see if I've got a. A replacement. No, I haven't. Oh, bugger. What am I going to do now? I'm stuck now. I'm going to have to look at some old boards, I think. I'll be back in a minute. I've got a box of caps that I've been salvaging from old boards. It looks like I'm going to have to order some of these and see if I can get it fixed. It's a shame, but never mind. Right, so I'm going to have to order some of these up from eBay. I need 10 microfarad, 400 volts. So I'll do that now and I'll be back in a second. This is a bit embarrassing. I opened this up and I saw the faulty capacitor, well, the bulging capacitor. So I just went ahead with that and figured, well, that's, that's what the problem is. But then I stopped recording 
and I realized I hadn't actually tested the fuse in here. So I tested the fuse and the fuse is blown. And as it turns out, the capacitor has gone short circuit. So I've removed the capacitor and the short circuit now has disappeared. So in here should be some capacitors and then this one should be a fuse they are much bigger if it doesn't fit it's not the end of the world the purpose of this video is to get the to get it working just for entertainment purposes it, it might be all right on there i think it will be we'll give it a shot but it's the same rating so these are a lot bigger blimey they are bigger i couldn't seem to find the small ones but we'll, we'll try it and the capacitor is the same but slightly smaller 10 microfarads, 400 volts. 10 microfarads, 400 volts. So we'll put these in and we'll give it a go. Soldering iron on. I cannot actually see where the fuse went in. There's one hole there. One went in there and the other one went in there. Well, that's far too big. That's that's not going to work. I would never get that top back on. And it's not as if you can bend it over. Actually. Might be just just enough for testing. So with the fuse in and the new capacitor in, I'll test for a short. No short. So let's test that, shall we? I'm going to bring in my load lamp. This is still open, so I'm going to be dead careful. I'll plug the load lamp in. We'll turn the power supply on here, and then we'll turn the load lamp on at the wall. Now, nothing. There was no flash on the lamp. Let's see if I've got anything now coming out of here. I do. 12 volts. So that is a semi-fix because I've got the wrong fuse size in. Just the size of the fuse. It's the right fuse. But that is... That's a fix. That deserves a like. So give that a thumbs up then. It's closing all right, but it's been a bit chewed up. That clips together. I just need some black glue to fill fill this in. And that would that would be that would be usable. Brilliant. Well done Philip. Thank you very much. What I've done, I've put a little bit of black tape around that to keep it together for the for the time being it's a nice little power supply inside here and in my other power supply video vhf gamer did comment how nice these little supplies are he put a couple together in an old commodore 64 power pack so this casing's damaged and i wouldn't like to use it uh, but the insides may come in handy one day um, so I'm going to hang on to this one. So that's it for the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. 
and I hope to see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.